Back to serve. to come back and win the set? Well, I think, uh, you know, S San Diego really came storming out and got us back on our heels. And I was so proud of our team, the way they never panicked. They stayed right with it. We, we inched our way back. I think we did not get to eight first. I think they were eight, seven. Then about 12, 12, we finally got ahead somewhere in there. And then we separated. And that separation was a big deal. Um, and, and that was good. They started a little bit differently than we thought they would, so the matchups were different than we planned, so we adjusted in the second set. But the real key was sets one and sets three, we had a total of one hitting error, total. That is really good okay. volleyball. You don't give your opponents free points. Second set, we had six hitting errors. That's why that set was close. But other than that, uh, we played good volleyball tonight. We played USC volleyball. And I, th I think we're, we're ready to go now. Uh, well, we are definitely excited to have like a good week of practice before we play in San Diego. So that's something we're looking forward to. Um, also, just like staying in rhythm. Like we got in a pretty good rhythm tonight, so staying in rhythm and practice will be really important and key for us. I mean, yeah, we just. You know, we just have to keep practicing. Work. Uh, we have to work in things that um, we didn't do as good this past two games, and I think I think that's it. Yeah, I think we're really excited to go to the next round. Definitely. Um, I think we are going to like just try to keep getting in rhythm. I think I think we did really a good job this game to get back in rhythm from yesterday versus today. Um, I think we're just going to try to keep our momentum going forward. It seemed like um, you were feeding or as they would say, vibing or just playing a chemistry off of each other for all three sets. Anything to uh, uh, accelerate that rhythm for tonight other than it's an NCAA tournament? NCAA tournament. 
Um, well, I think for me and Sam, it was our, that's our last <coughs> game that we're ever going to play in this building. I think that definitely was a little extra motivation for us. But um, I think, yeah, we were just like excited to try to get to the next round. I think we are just trying to play as best as we could. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I definitely agree with the vibing off of each other. When yeah. Whenever we went to the huddle, all of us were like really close to each other and like um, just like really good eye contact and everything like that. So it was it was really fun to play this yeah. game. Yeah, I think we're just having fun. That's that's it. We were having extra fun today. It was just I don't know. It's just really exciting to play to like get to the next level. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Uh, in addition to being competitive, it was very entertaining because of the, the frenzies that were going on in the first uh, two sets. Uh, the rhythms were good and uh, everyone responded. Uh, did that give you a better feel for them knowing that they were going to be uh, this like their last chance to play against the top rated team, the number one team? Um, I think we're approaching like every team the same way. I think every team is going to try to play like their best against us just because of where we're ranked and like our name, I guess. And so I think the thing like that would, <laughs> that allowed us to uh, like um, continue those like frenzy plays was like the communication I think so I think we have to continue that for sure to go to the next round. Yeah, everybody had really good effort tonight too. Like everyone was chasing down the balls, um, and just like Alicia said, like um, we just need to like look forward to the next round, and we're really stoked to like have this good rhythm and good energy, and it was fun playing them. And, and the last question for me, at least, uh, the rotation, because your teammates um, from coaches' um, lineup, uh, they saw action, very good action tonight. So everyone had a chance to, to come in and contribute. Uh, your thoughts on the teammates, uh, Bailey Johnson and Pisa Segola, all your other teammates, uh, to speak about them, although they're not here, but your comments on playing with them on, out on the court. Um, I don't know. I think they did, they're, um, they did a really good job. Everyone was like, digging balls and running uh, balls. So yeah, I think they were doing a great job. They were, um, they were giving a really good effort. Yeah, Victoria and Taylor had a great passing yes. game. They got into a really good pa passing rhythm. And then Alicia and Bailey were just feeding us the balls amazingly. So it was, it was really fun. We were all just playing great together. And those are the players that we, we kind of rely to give us energy, I think. Mm -hmm. So like, mm -hmm. after we make a good play, like, we kind of look to them to lead us in like, the cheer, I guess. And so they did a really good job this game, for sure. Last question for you, Alicia, because uh, you were just so focused. You're targeting. That was yours. It seemed like that part, that cylinder that you built on the wall there, the imaginary cylinder at the uh -huh. net, that was yours tonight. Did you feel that? Um, yeah, kind of, I guess. I, I was uh, comfortable with what San Diego was doing for me, I guess. I, I felt comfortable with what the setters were giving me, too, so I just felt I could just play free and uh, just try to get the kill, basically. Okay, thank you. On the defensive side, Um, yeah, the speed was a little bit faster against this team than it was yesterday, for sure. But uh, I think yesterday's game kind of let us um, get used to a team that doesn't run as fast as we do, because in practice all we see is like super like quick tempo stuff. So I think it was a good practice for uh, today, for sure. Mm -hmm. Our outside blockers were doing a really good job setting up the block, too. Like Elise and Bailey, well, that's who I play with. They were both doing a great job. And um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I guess so. <laughs> I think the energy, the energy was different. Yesterday we were, li I don't know what it was. They were a little tight, I think. Yeah. Just, it was just a first like NCAA game, and the freshmen were a little nervous, you know, like it's kind of gets gets them, I guess. But we've done this a few times, so we we're just trying to lead by example, I guess. Um, well, Alicia was really sad. <laughs> she was crying. <laughs> but I don't, I don't feel like this is my last game in Galen, you know, because my mind right now is just, like, get to the second round. And right now I know I'm going to keep playing. I think it's going to get me in our last game. I'm going to be like, oh, God. Yeah, well, I just, I love playing in this building, so it's a little bit sad for me, I guess, like, not being able to, that's probably that's the last time I'm ever going to go on that floor, so it's kind of. A little bittersweet, but... Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll come back or whatever. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, that was... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that was... Yeah, it was fun, though. I'm glad we, like, ended the way we did. You know what I mean? That was kind of, like, a good...
way to you know end our careers here, I guess. Yeah, just a quick question for Coach. Looking ahead to to, to next week and, and or at least into round two, uh, three of the teams are in now. We've confirmed that uh, yourselves, of course, SC, KU, and LMU. LMU beating uh, Stanford, yeah. and then I believe tomorrow it's going to be um, the decider between UNC and Creighton, and should the winner of that would be the opponent. Yeah, and we've played both of those teams this year, um, but they've both greatly improved. You know, we kind of set UNC on a spiral. They came in uh, really highly ranked, and uh, they had people in, in different positions, and he finally decided that maybe he'd made a mistake on moving the middle to the outside. He went back to his old lineup, took him a while to get their confidence back, and now they're playing great. So okay. uh, Creighton, we thought, was a really good team. That's why we scheduled a four-year uh, turnaround with them and Northern Iowa and uh, Kentucky. Kentucky also got upset tonight by American. Oh. There are a lot of upsets tonight. Yeah. So, uh, and LMU's uh, win over Stanford really, in my mind, is not an upset. Stanford should have taken them very seriously because they have played good fundamental ball. And uh, Tom Black over there has done a great job. Uh, I'm sorry Pac-12 team got upset, but uh, Tom was here, you know, as assistant with the men's team several years mm -hmm. ago, and, and he's a really good up-and-coming coach also. So. Um, boy, it's tough out there now. Everybody's good. Okay. Thanks, Coach. You know, I didn't want to say this in front of them. Really, the focus was on beating the opponents for the first time in about three weeks. You know, we, we won so many games. We started to get into our own heads, and we started not being able to execute on our side of the net. And there's that old saying that people say, you know, we've, we've met we met the opponent and it is us. And we were fighting ourselves here the last two or three weeks to get back into rhythm. And uh, finally, we got through that for tonight where we didn't worry so much about ourselves that we really wanted to win the match for the team and trying to beat San Diego. And that's the way it's got to be the next four matches. Uh, if we're going to play four more matches, starting with the first one next week, we, we can't be worried about ourselves. We've got to focus on the opponents and just play. And so I thought that's that's probably the most fun they've had in three weeks, honestly, right there, because they really enjoyed back into the team thing, enjoyed each other, and enjoyed just going after the other team. And I thought the defense was really good. I don't know what it was like from a spectator standpoint, but, but it had to be fun because San Diego was bringing up one arm balls and all kinds of things. And the rallies were back and forth. And as a spectator, even if you're sitting on the bench as a coach, you got to say, wow, that's yeah. pretty good. So fun matches here at Galen this year. That's the thing that I think Sam and Alicia will probably miss is, is all the excitement, the way the community came in and adopted them and started coming all the time. We, we've had great crowds this year. Coach, um, on your freshmen, uh, Bailey Johnson, Elise Ford, and Victoria Garrick, you've mentioned them in previous conferences. Tonight, it seemed like they're ratcheting it up, stepping it up uh, because they know the, that it, the importance they're, of the tournament. They're, they're really special. I have to tell you, I don't know how freshmen do this. I mean, they, they're good. All three of them are good. But they've been inside their own heads a little bit here, as you would expect freshmen would, mm -hmm. and then carrying so much responsibility and then having finals for the first time. Uh, yeah. It's got to be a whirlwind deal for, for those kids. and. The way they came out and focused tonight and supported each other, I, I think the guy, I thought Ford was really focused tonight. She was all over it. Uh, she's had, had a little difficulty doing that. Garrick's been a little worried about her passing. Mm -hmm. And Bailey's trying to be perfect with her sets when she just needs to stay in rhythm. And all of that stuff makes them do funny things for a while. But I think when it's on the line, they'll always show up. The maturity factor, would you say, playing well beyond uh, their means and their – they're, they're there now. They're going to mature real quick. We could keep doing this, yeah. Yeah. What preparations are you guys going to be making in the next few days? Will the, will the team be getting a day off? Yeah, here's the way this works. Uh, we've already planned all this out, and you have to with finals and everything. So we planned actually the next two weeks out. Uh, tomorrow we will have a, um, massages tomorrow morning, actually, because we're trying to get their bodies back. And... Some of them really love massages. Now, some will just do training work who don't like massages. But uh, 
Yeah, that's one of the things we put in. Massage therapy has been proven to really do wonders for our bodies. You imagine Sam had 110 swings, I think, this weekend. That's as, about as many as we could, could have and have her stay healthy, and the massage will really help her body recover. Uh, after we do the massages tomorrow, they're done for the day. They're, I think some are going to the beach, some are studying, some are doing some other things, but they just are going to relax. Sunday morning we'll have a, or Sunday afternoon we'll have a practice uh, at one o'clock. Um, Monday we'll have a practice uh, one thirty to three thirty. Tuesdays one thirty to three thirty. And Wednesday we we don't have a practice time yet because we have something like nine finals on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday they'll be taking finals up until one o'clock and we'll leave for San Diego at two o'clock. Try to get in there with the traffic by four thirty and try to get a practice in uh, Thursday night and then a good night's sleep uh, but we have to take finals Friday morning down in San Diego uh, so they'll be monitored by our compliance staff and then try to get ready for Friday night's match uh, we we do have one final on Saturday that we have to take uh, Spanish final mm. unfortunately it's not Samantha <laughs> so, um, wow. we uh, we just do this every year, and it seems like almost an uh, impossibility for people to try to focus like that. That's how, why I think our student athletes are so great that they can take on these multiple challenges at the same time, discipline themselves to do the best they can in both, and absolutely expect an A and a championship at the same time. Wow. And uh, uh, that's the kind of people that just make USC so special. Yeah, we're going to we're going to stay with what we've been working on. That's the serving and passing game. We were real good tonight serving and passing. When we can do that, uh we can run our offense. That's why Ogums was so good tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, 20 swings, 11 kills, and only one error and and the same with Ruddens. She was real good also. And that just uh San Diego likes to option block. And what that means is they like to predetermine putting two blockers where they think you're going to set the ball. And when we can run the middle like that, it means they have to keep somebody at home, which means they can't get the good double block on the outside on either side. And so our real game plan was to give everything we could at getting three passes, which were perfect passes to the setter, so we could run our offense. And I thought we did an extremely good job of that. I wanted to see if, uh, oh, those rascals out dug us by two. I was hoping we could out, <laughs> out dig those guys, but no such luck tonight. Okay. All right, Jeremy. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everybody.